Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how I go about creating my background images for Google Sites like you see here. Let's get started. So this video comes from a comment from a viewer, Dash, thank you for your email. I just want to broaden your question a little bit to make a video about just how I go about making the background images for my Google Sites, making images that are large enough so that they don't lose very much quality when they're displayed on different size uh, resolution screens. So mo most of the time I just go with a 1920 by 1080 image. So there's a few tips that I want to show you how I do that. If I'm doing it in Google Slides, the first thing I want to do is go to File, down to Page Setup, change this from widescreen to custom, change inches to pixels and make sure that this is 1920 by 1080 or whatever size you feel is going to be appropriate for your website. Now you just arrange your elements however you want to create your background image. In this case I knew that I wanted to have uh, live text rather than an image. I wanted to have text here as a big headline on the left hand side, have an image over on the right hand side. So in my head I'm kind of creating this um, I go to my colors here. I'm going to change this to one of my custom colors. And then sort of bring in my elements. So here's, here's the basic layout of what I want my background and the text elements that are going to lay on top of it once I build this in the actual website. So I'm kind of laying this out mentally. For me, I'll create a new slide here and just show you I'll delete that filler content and show you the results. Now I actually used Figma as you can see here to design all of my screen assets and visuals and background images for websites etc. Which is also a really great free tool that you can use in your web browser or on Mac or PC. And it's a really wonderful vector graphics design tool. But I just wanted to show you here that whatever tool you're using this is how I would set it up. A 1920 by 1080 document. Make sure you do that if you're in Google Slides or Google Drawings. In page setup, change your inches to pixels, put in your custom dimensions there. And then when you're done, you have to give this a file name. I'll say BG image for background image. And then go to file and download and download it as a PNG. What I've noticed is that when I download as a JPEG, there's compression applied. It's a lot more compression uh, where, where you start kind of getting the breaking down of pixels and stuff and it starts th not looking good and maybe getting some jagged edges and noise. That's all com compression that's happening in the JPEG image. It's making the file size small which is good for the web but it's really sucking up the quality. So PNG is the best file format for quality from downloading from uh, any of the uh, Google Drive apps that uh, that I've noticed, that I've experienced. Okay, so uh, one more thing that I can do before I add it to my Google site as a background image, and that's using an image compressor, something like PNE PNG or Optimizilla, imagecompressor.com. From here, you can just drag and drop the file you downloaded from Google Slides right into this web page, and it will begin to compress it. It does this in a way as it's very best to preserve the optical quality by reducing the file size as much as possible. So I can see here that I've saved 20% file size. It went from 905 kilobytes to 723 kilobytes. And that's very good for uploading when you have especially lots of large images. You want to keep the, the optical quality as high as possible, but the file size as small as possible so that your website doesn't suffer from long loading times. Uh, you want to keep the file size of your images down as much as possible. So because these are going to be full width header images, I very much recommend running them through an image compressor like imagecompressor.com or tinypng and then re-downloading the compressed version and then using that to upload into Google Sites. This is exactly what I've done on my site for every single image. Then once I'm in Google Sites, I make sure that my header type is on a large banner or I could choose cover. 
I'll stick with large banner for this one and then put in my headline. So I've already got my text in here, created the image and just uploaded it by going to change image and then upload it from my hard drive. And here's the published website. I've done that same process for all of the images on here actually. Uh, you can see some of these sections here. I've used background images <clears throat> where I've, I've used uh, paint.net or you could use Photoshop or Photop. Add this Gaussian blur to the background. It kind of makes sort of this glassy kind of like frosted glass effect, which I really like. Adds a splash of color sort of down the page to break it up. As you can see. Here. But those are just some helpful tips and I do to, to design and prepare my image files for the background image headers and actually all of the images on my Google sites. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, thank you Dash for the comment and for the question. If there are any other comments or questions about Google sites or graphic design or creativity software stuff in general, please leave them in the comments. I'd like to make more videos about what you guys are interested in and start answering more questions, do more kind of Q and A's and that kind of thing. Thank you guys for watching as always. Bye for now.